briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2005, the Idaho Supreme Court presided over State v. Porter, a murder case that revisited the definition of malice and its sufficiency in warranting a murder charge. The case arose from an incident where Michael Porter, after a disagreement, struck DJ Flett outside a bar, causing the latter brain damage that eventually led to his death. After a legal tug of war over the charges against Porter, the Idaho Supreme Court restored the original charge of second degree murder. Porter had initially been charged with this, but the district court had reduced it to voluntary manslaughter. The Court of Appeals subsequently overruled this reduction, restoring the second degree murder charge. Porter contested this decision, prompting the Supreme Court's involvement. On reviewing the case, the Supreme Court corrected the appellate court's erroneous view that a charge of second degree murder or voluntary manslaughter could be leveled even without the intent to kill, as long as the action was malicious. The Supreme Court clarified that for a second-degree murder charge to be retained, malice had to be evident. If the prosecution failed to prove this beyond a reasonable doubt, the defendant was entitled to acquittal. Thus, the court overturned the district court decision and sent the case back for reconsideration, focusing solely on the possibility of a second-degree murder charge. This unanimous ruling among Justices Trout, Eisman, Burdick, and Jones reinstated the need for malicious intent in matters of second-degree murder, thus reshaping Idaho's legal framework. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.